Hello everyone, this is Noble H. Mustak, and today we are here with another main association of math leagues problem from Meet 2, Round 5, Areas and Volumes, Problem 3. BC is the diameter of the base of this right circular cone. The measure of the vertex angle BAC is 60 degrees. A sphere is placed in the cone, the sphere, tangent to the lateral surface. And the lateral surface just means like this part of the cone, like the the, the base is the circle, and then the lateral surface is just this t kind of bottom part of the cone that you usually hold when you're eating an ice cream cone, th this part. So it's tangent to that surface such that AD is 20. Okay, the ball is also tangent to the base right here at point E. So we want to find the volume of the cone. Okay, so we're going to do some, some drawing for this problem. And first, we just want to draw... We're, we're going to draw some lines to f just make things easier for us to see. So first, we want to find the radius. So the radius is already drawn for us. We're going to do EC. We want to find the height. So we want to draw the height. And f we also we also have the sphere. Usually when you have a sphere, it's helpful to draw the radii. So D is on the point of the sphere, since it's a point of tangency. So we're going to say the center is O, right here. And we're going to draw the radius OD. So now that we've drawn all of these things, we're just going to try to explore and find what we can. The first thing that I notice after drawing the radius is that since this is a point of tangency, angle ODA has to be a right angle. because Points of tangency also always have right angles with radii. So that's a right angle. And it w after drawing the height, I noticed that I've cut BAC in half. They told us that BAC was 60 degrees. So angle EAC, right here, that's in half. So that's 30 degrees. So, again, I'm just going to draw what I've seen. Oh, AD is 20. Don't forget to draw that. So now, as you can see, we have this 30, 60, 90. And this, these, this is one of the most important patterns you have to see in this. You have to see that 30 degrees, 90 degrees, 30, 60, 90. Okay, so now we're just going to try to find these two sides, OD and OA. Because those are the other two sides of the triangle. So OD is the side opposite 30. AD, which we know is 20, is the side opposite 60. So OD equals AD over radical 3, which is 20 square root of 3 over 3, since that's... That's how 30, 60, 90 triangles work. And OA is the hypotenuse, so it's 2 times the in side opposite 30, so it's 2 OD, which is 40 squared 3 over 3. Okay, so now we found OD and OA, so to make this more clear, I'm going to draw. So here, 40 squared 3 over 3 is OA, and 20 squared 3 over 3 is OD. Okay, so I've drawn those two sides. And now, from the beginning, we wanted to find height AE. We have OA, but the other part of AE is OE. So what is OE? OE is the radius of the sphere. Because we have OD, we n now know that um, the radius of the sphere is 20 squared 3 over 3. So that's what OE is. OE is OD, which is 20 squared 3 over 3. So now the height is OA plus OE. So 40 squared 3 over 3 plus 20 squared 3 over 3 is 60 squared 3 over 3, which 60 over 3 is 20, so we just get 20 squared 3 over 20 squared 3. So the height is 20 squared 3. Okay, so now instead of doing OA, OE, and A, I just do the height. So the height, this whole height, is 20 squared 3. Now, we have the height, we also need to find the radius. So if you look at like the height, and the radius, and this triangle, you see, you see another 30, 60, 90. You see a 30, we see this right angle, that's a 30, 60, 90. So um, again, the height is the side opposite 60. So EC is the side opposite 30, so we divide AE by radical 3 to get a radius of 20, which I've drawn here. So the radius is 20, the height is 20 squared 3, and then the formula of the cone, which a lot of people, I think, sometimes forget. I forget sometimes. The uh, volume of the cone is 1 third pi r squared h. The radius is 20, the height is 20 squared 3, so we substitute, we get 1 third pi 20 squared, 20 squared 3. 20 squared is 400, times 20 is 8,000, so 1 third pi 8,000 squared 3. So we get 8,000 squared 3 over 3 pi. And that is our answer. And yeah. And that's it. 
that was a rather quick problem. Uh, um, but you have to, um, from the beginning, I think the, the hardest step is just seeing this and seeing that you have to draw this radius. If you don't draw that radius, then I don't know how to solve the problem. So you just have to draw what you think is relevant. And after you've done these sort of problems over time, you'll know that like radii of things are relevant, heights are relevant. So you just draw those things, and then you see the patterns. So once you, we draw the height, we see that we've cut the angle in half, and then we see the 30, 60, 90. And then you, it just kind of follows from there. You just keep seeing the patterns. And you just have to have practice with this. Hopefully, I didn't skip too many steps or go too fast. But you do have to see these 30, 60, 90s and these patterns of us cutting angles. And you, yeah. And that's how you solve these kinds of problems. You just go with the patterns you see and keep following them until you get an answer. 8,000 squared, 3 over 3 pi. Yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you liked this problem. I thought it was a fun problem. I'll probably move on to meet three today and make another po video today. But for now, that's it. And have fun doing math.